I just hope that these books will find a place with someone who will love these with heart and soul. The next one is actually a trilogy. I'm getting rid of all three of them. Very proud of you, Femke, but I couldn't do that because my shelves would be empty. Hello lovely bookworms, I'm Esme from Paradise of Pages on Instagram and also on Twitter and welcome to a new video. This is a bit of an impromptu video because all of a sudden I decided to unhaul a couple of books. I think I have about 20 to talk about and that's why I look like this. I'm wearing like my regular nice Mulan shirt and yeah, I don't know. I'm looking a bit casual so there we are also stood up because it's easier that way to grab books go around and yeah i have 19 to talk about i will go into them briefly not too much because i feel like it's gonna be too long of a video otherwise and let's just start with the first couple of books okay so the first two i have here are the two final books in the selection series because of the fact that I <laughs> didn't really like these and those are The Crown and The Heir. I'm not sure if they are they are supposed to be the other way around so it's The Heir and The Crown. This is number four and number five in the selection series. I'm keeping the first three because I like those and I do reread those from time to time but these I really didn't like so these are gonna go. Next up also from Kiara Cass is The Siren. This one, same story with the other two. I really didn't like it. I thought the story was pretty flat and it's just not for me. So I hope that this will find a new home with someone who does like this. Also, there are a lot of trilogies in this one. So I feel like it is only fair that I share them together. So it might be a bit shorter of a video than I thought it would be. The next one is actually a trilogy. I'm getting rid of all three of them. And those are The Jewel, The White Rose, and The Black Key, all by Amy Ewing. Ewing? I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. This is a trilogy that I bought, I would say, way back when. And the reason why I bought these was because I was so in love with the selection and I wanted something that's kind of similar. This one I think is actually, yeah, you sort of become like a slave kind of thing and this one it just, I liked it at the time that I read it but the more I think about it now the less I like them. So these are gonna find a good new home with someone else. I don't think I am the audience for this anymore and I mean I've read them and I'm never gonna read them again so it's only fair that they find a new home. Next up is one of the only books on this list I haven't read, and that one is Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I feel like I would have loved this one were I a lot younger, but in the state I am currently, I have no desire to pick it up, and if I do, I'll probably just read an audiobook or an ebook over on Scribd. This is just not my cup of tea, and this is gonna go. Honestly, after all these years, I don't even know what this is about, so yeah. The only thing, like, it's kind of cool though, like, it's a cool... It's a cool cover, but yeah, it, it, I don't think it's for me. It would be a fast read, but I'm not sure I would enjoy it, so this is gonna go. Next up is the first book in a series of which I read the first two and DNF'd the third, and that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. I really enjoyed this book when I read it first, but the second one was less exciting for me, and the third one, I think it's the third one, is one that I've DNF'd, so... It is only fair that this one finds a home with someone who will love this a lot more than I will. I'm never going to continue the series either way and I'm never going to reread this, so it will only collect dust on my shelves. So it's only fair that I part with it and hopefully it finds a new home with someone who likes it. I mean, I liked it, but who will love this series a lot more than I did. In general, I just hope that these books will find a place with someone who will love these with heart and soul. Like, I love some of the books that are on my shelves. I need space and yeah, it's time for them to go. Okay, so I have a bit of this, probably a little bit controversial and also an unpopular opinion, but here I have the three books by Victoria Aveyard and those are Red Queen, Glass Sword and King's Cage. These three books, I actually, I think I... I received one as a gift and the first two I bought myself. I read the first one, so I read Red Queen and I really wasn't a fan of them, so I never continued with Glass Sword. I also haven't heard great things and in general I feel like this is just no longer for me. I would have loved this a lot more had I read them directly after The Hunger Games when I was a lot younger, 
but now I just I just desire different things from books and so these are gonna find a new home. Next up are the first two books in a trilogy that I've read and will not be finishing. And those are Shadow, Bright and Burning and a po Poison, Dark and Drowning by Jessica Kues. First and foremost, these were not the best books I've ever read. I really didn't like the ending of this one. That said though, I have followed what this author has said and I cannot stand behind that. So they're gonna go, I'm gonna unhaul them. If you want to know more about that, I would say just look it up. There's multiple videos on what she said, what she did, and I'm not going to go into it, but that is the reason why I'm unhauling them. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought, so this is a quick, short unhaul video, I think. <laughs> it's a lot shorter than Femke's, but I'm not getting rid of like a hundred books, so very proud of you, Femke, but I couldn't do that because my shelves would be empty. Next up is a duology that I love with heart and soul and that will probably very like it will be a surprise to you probably but this one is one of my absolute favorite duologies and I'm getting rid of it and those are Stranger Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. Reason, the paperbacks, I have two hardcover sets. I don't need a third one. I doubt I need a second one in general but I can't get rid of those. <laughs> I'm keeping the hardcovers but the paperbacks can go. I don't need these. I'm never gonna read them. The font is very, very small and they will only collect dust. And I have to share this amazing duology with the world. So if I can find a better home for this, I'm gonna do so. Next up, funnily enough, is another all-time favorite. And fun fact, it's actually right here. And that is Hero at the Fall. You can probably guess why I'm getting rid of this one. This is a duplicate. I'm pretty sure I have another duplicate somewhere here. It was just an unfortunate series of events. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. But I have, I think I have three copies of this one and I don't need three of the same books. So I'm gonna keep that one and I'm gonna get rid of this one. And once I find the other one, I'm also gonna get rid of that one. So <laughs> I love this series, by the way. If I can recommend a trilogy to you, Rebel of the Sands is amazing, but I don't need three copies of the same book in the same format. So this one is gonna go. Fun fact, I I think at one point I actually got a replacement for this one because it was damaged and I had also bought one of them as a birthday gift for someone which I didn't end up giving or it, it, she bought it herself, something along those lines and at that point I had three copies and I didn't know what to do with them and after all those years I still have all those copies so it's high time that I get rid of them so that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so there's four more books on this list, and the next one is actually Fire and Heist by Sarah Beth Durst. This one is a fairy loop book that I got two years ago, I would say, something along those lines, and I didn't like it. I read it, didn't like it, so I think it is safe to say that this will be loved by someone else a lot more than me. It's not made for me, and this is going to go to a new home. The next one is also a pretty small hardcover and that is Dark Breaks the Dawn by Sarah B. Larson. I read this book way back when, I think 2017, something along those lines, 17, 18. And the reason why I read this was because I really loved her Defy trilogy back then. Those are still on my shelves. But this one, I did enjoy the first book. The second book, I didn't like at all. And it's just, I'm never gonna reread these and it will only collect dust on my shelves. And I think someone else, once again, will love it a lot more than I will, or I did. And yeah, it's time for this one to go. Okay, so next up is a book I also haven't read. And this is actually, I think the third book in a series. Fun fact, I have no idea where I got this. Also have no idea where I don't have the first and the second book, but here we are. I have a third book in a series and <laughs> I really don't know where it came from, but that is Silence by Becca Fitzpatrick. This is, I think it is the third book in the Hush Hush series. Yeah, I think the first one is Hush Hush, Hush, Hush and the second one is Crescendo. So this is, I think the third one, I'm pretty sure there are four. It's just, I'm never gonna buy the first and the second edition if I read them, which is not probable. I will definitely just read it via script or listen to an audiobook so I'm never gonna pick this up physically and yeah I'm just once again I think it can go to a better home 
than me. I don't even know what Hush Hush is about. Something about fallen angels, I think. I shouldn't read the back, should I? Because it's the third book. Nicely done, Esme. But yeah, that's this one. <laughs> Alright, then there's one more book left, and I've really debated keeping this one for a very long time. This has been on my should I unhaul this list for very long, and I thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. And this is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. This is also the fairy loot edition that I got in the box. I don't even know how long ago. I love the cover of this. Let me say that. I love the way it looks. I love the title. I just didn't love the book. And I've tried reading it again. And it's just not for me. I'm never going to continue this series. I'm never going to pick up any of the other books in this series. And I think it is only fair that... I mean, it's such a stunning edition, and I feel like someone else will like this a lot more than me. So, yeah, I am. Um, I'm gonna part with it. I'm gonna part with it. Though it is with a heavy heart, and weirdly enough, that's only because of the cover. Which is ridiculous, but I am that vain. In any case, this is the final book. I feel like a lot of my decisions in general of whether I keep a book after I read it is because of the fact that... Mostly because of the fact whether I loved it or not, but then the cover definitely plays a role. I mean, I still have the Night Circus on my on my shelves, which I'm not getting rid of, because I love <laughs> the cover so much. That said, though, these were all of the, I think it's like 20 books that I'm getting rid of. And yeah, I am so happy. There will be a bit more room on my shelves. I have to, I mean, I say a bit slight, like there's a, l a little bit more room, but not a lot it's fine. <laughs> that said, I hope you liked this unhaul. This is very uncharacteristic of me. I never do this, but here we are, unhaul number one. Maybe I'll do these more in the future now that I've done it once. I'll do it again. Who knows? For now, these are staying. <laughs> that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and press the little bell icon so you can post notifications every single time that we post. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!